John Rollin Ridge is well known for writing the novel The Life and Adventures of Joaquin Marietta. It is the first novel written by a Native American and one of the first novels that was written in California. He contributed to a number of magazines and he was also an editor for a couple of newspapers out in California. He was born in the old Cherokee Nation East in 1827. He was the son of John Rich, who was one of the signers of the Treaty of New Echota. There were two factions that existed in the Cherokee Nation during the time of removal. You have the Ross Party, who fought to hold on to our lands back east, and then you had the Treaty Party, who thought that removal was going to be inevitable. What we should do is go ahead and accept the best deal that we can get and remove to the west. John Ridge, Major Ridge, and Elias Boudinot were all executed for their role in signing the Treaty of New Echota. John Rollin Ridge uh, witnessed his father's murder. He was 12 years old. So if you look at his writings, he often spoke about revenge, that he seeked revenge um, for the killings of his father, his grandfather, um, and also Elias Boudinot, his cousin. John Rollin Ridge was definitely a controversial figure, especially with his politics. He was a a big supporter of the Confederacy. He advocated for a separate Cherokee Nation. While the Ross Party was fighting to keep the Cherokee Nation united, during the mid to late 1840s, uh, John Rollin Ridge had a dispute with a member of the Ross Party. He ended up killing the man, and he would flee to Missouri. After living there for a while with his wife and daughter, he eventually would join and go with the gold rush out to California, and then later his wife and daughter joined him out there. He ends up writing and contributes to a number of magazines. He is well known for being the founding editor of the Sacramento Bee, which is still in print today. John Rollin Ridge would build a home about 30 minutes north of Sacramento, and that's where he would end up spending the last of his days. He's also buried in the cemetery there, along with his wife, his daughter, and his brother.